I have been thinking about the concept of the egregore, in which, from what I understand, it is a type of neutral energy that is controlled by the focus intent of creation by belief. Kind of like that saying, where energy flows, where attention goes. I'm curious about this strange internet cult that follows weird image boards, websites like 4chan and 8chan, and associate with the alt-right. I should also mention that spelling as R-I-T-E means to summon. Uh, there's now a thunderstorm, so bear with me. These popular image boards would program people to be put in various camps like the alt-right. Equally later on, one for breeding communists and Antifa and other things. Uh, these two sites are, are where memes seem to mostly originate from, which leads me to believe it's an extension of Mount Olympus. Uh, it's unnatural how there can be new memes every month, and, <clears throat> and most of them aren't even amusing. And yet they're supposedly shared by millions. Uh, it's probably up there with the trending YouTube videos or the front pages of Reddit. It's, it's all fixed. Uh, the information I'll present is found on a website called knowyourmeme.com, which is like a database for every meme that's been conceived. A uh, bit of backstory, this Keck Deity originates from a cartoon frog named Pepe that was drawn as an online comic strip in 2006. Uh, around 10 years later, during their elections, the alt-right hijacks it uh, and claims it as their mascot. Soon after it was discovered that this uh, frog is also an old Egyptian god of chaos who was actually named Kek. Coincidentally, they also found a song called Chatelet from an Italian group in the 80s called Pepe. And their song encourages high energy and manifestation. The CD cover is complete with the frog with the wand displaying magic sound. I'll leave a link uh, to the lyrics in the description below. Along with this frog business, uh, there is a term called meme magic, which I'll read from the Know Your Meme website. Meme magic is a slang term used to describe the hypothetical power of sorcery and voodoo, supposedly derived from certain internet memes that can transcend the realm of cyberspace and result in real-life consequences. Some have compared it to the occult concept of the egregore, an autonomous psychic enemy entity which influences the thoughts of a group of people. Almost said enemy there, Freudian slip. <laughs> I named Rene Guinan wrote about this sort of thing. I found some interesting bits from his Wikipedia page that I'll read. The egregore is a psychic entity existing between the material and the spiritual in contact with both. It is the creation of the psychic will of the members of a group and exists as a connection to the divine. As we work rituals, the focused mental energy creates and invokes the egregore to fulfill the need of the group. An egregore is not a magical creature, it is not self-aware, and it is not a jinn to carry out wishes. The egregore serves as a conduit, a nexus to connect the group that created or invoked it to the spiritual. And in regards to things like symbolism, it refers to something very different from a mere code, an artificial or arbitrary meaning, in that it holds an essential and spontaneous echoing power. For René Guénon, this echoing power goes immensely farther than the psychological realm. Uh, symbolism is the metaphysical language at its highest, capable of relating all degrees of universal manifestation and all the components of the being as well. Symbolism is the means by which man is capable of assenting orders of reality that escape, by their very nature any description by ordinary language. This understanding of the profound nature of symbolism has never been lost by an intellectual, i.e. spiritual, elite in the East. It is inherent in the transmission of initiation which, he says, gives the real key to man to penetrate the deeper meaning of the symbols. In this perspective, meditation on symbols, visual or heard, uh, repetition of the divine names, is 
an integral part of both of initiation and of spiritual realization. From what I gather, if signs and symbols really have energy behind them, uh, could these endless memes that are turned out, in my opinion, by the system, be generating energy of some kind? Uh, moving back to the subject of the cult itself, and to read from Know Your Meme once again. The cult of Keck, also known as the Church of Keck, is a satirical religion based around the worship of the ancient Egyptian deity Keck, an androgynous god of darkness and chaos who is often depicted as a frog or frog-headed man in male form or a snake-headed woman in female form. In 4chan, the character Pepe the Frog is often considered a modern avatar of the deity who uses ancient Egyptian meme magic to influence the world often by fulfilling the wishes of posts that end in repeating numbers. A quick note, when you make a post on 4chan, it gives something like an ID number for your post, and it's considered uh, lucky to have an ID that ends in, say, 555 or 888 or whatever. Now, uh, additionally, the deity is associated with the popular 4chan slang term kick, which and is often embraced by supporters of the 2016 Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump. Practitioners are known to frequently write praise kek and jokingly refer to the church as a religion of peace. So these alt-right were duped into believing magic is real, but to them it's just a big joke. And at the same time, they actually believe that Trump was elected solely because of their praying to this kek deity. Obviously, we know the elections are all rigged and no magic was likely involved in the election itself, but if they just believe it, then maybe the energy they put in could have some kind of effect uh, in some way. I often think about the Simpsons episode, uh, I think it was titled Attack of the 50-Foot Eyesores, where all the building mascots came to life and began destroying the town. And the only way to stop them was to simply stop watching them. Maybe if we did the same, we'd be in a better spot right now. This was one of the memes generated by the system that was popularized. Uh, I see it similarly to the fake news thing Trump said a few years back. Uh, not to say it's a truth drop, but uh, more like a direct representation of this fake staged clown world. And as to why this keck is at the forefront, I don't know if it actually means anything or... There is some kind of actual real worship that's happening and, and it's having an influence on our realm or, or what. I, I don't know. I uh, just find this entire thing really, really weird, among other things. Everything. <laughs> uh, and to close, um, a Dr. Masura Emoto from Japan scientifically proved that our thoughts can influence water crystals. Uh, for example, if you think I love you, it forms a snowflake shape, something like you disgust me, forms a, a nasty looking shape. Um, so if that influences water, and if we are supposedly to be mostly composed of water, what do our collective thoughts influence on ourselves? Thanks for watching. I hope you could follow along through my sloppy report. I need a little bit of practice writing. Uh, this subject is uh, beyond me, so maybe someone with more knowledge can maybe pick off where I left off or make more sense of it. I don't know. Uh, I didn't see anyone else make a video on this subject, so hopefully you learned something or this is new to you. Um, yeah. Thanks.